Tepatitla in central Mexico, one of thousands of villages around this country where agriculture is the first and often only form of income. But since the ongoing conflict in Ukraine has raised global prices of key agrochemicals, locals like Oligario Flores have been struggling. In 2019, we'd pay around $25 per bag of fertilizer, but those prices have gone up to $70 a bag today, but we're forced to pay it because otherwise the yields won't be good. Food prices have soared in Mexico. Two years of pandemic, coupled with extreme weather, and now the agrochemical shortage, the government is searching for solutions. But so far, federal authorities have done little to help, though plans have been announced to boost domestic fertilizer production and offer free fertilizer to farmers in certain states. In Tepatitla, it has been left to the mayor and his team to find solutions. Su prioridad es el campo. Our priority is the countryside and those who work it because we know that's how we feed ourselves. So our government is offering a subsidy of 50% on each bag of fertilizer. We have found a supplier selling them at $50 each and we sell them to our farmers at 25 but that municipal plan didn't play out as hoped. On delivery day, the supplier never appeared with the goods. While officials say they've lined up another supplier to take its place, farmers are left waiting. I have sown only some of my land, five hectares of corn, but it needs fertilizer. I hope it arrives. Our president has said he will get it, and he wouldn't lie to us. He will keep his word. As villages like Tepatitla struggle, Mexico's president has a broader solution from the federal level to stop relying on food and agrochemical imports and seek self-sufficiency. I will meet with farmers across the country to start a campaign for national food self-sufficiency, to plant corn and beans, to harvest the basics. All of this helps. And the finance ministry is going to look at the import tariffs on the produce where we aren't self-sufficient to make it easier to bring that in. El ingreso de alimentos en los que no somos autosuficientes. With all signs pointing towards a drawn-out conflict in Eastern Europe, the effect on farmers on the other side of the world may also be long-lasting. Alastair Bavastok, CGTN, Tepatitla, Mexico.